guys so in this video I'm gonna be talking about perfumes I've decluttered slash sold or got rid of um, just because they don't vibe with me anymore or I just don't have a place in my collection anymore by no means are any of these perfumes bad I actually like all of them but I just don't love them enough to keep them in my collection so please don't get um, offended if your favorite perfume is here um, so yeah, so I'm gonna talk about five different perfumes and the first two I actually don't have anymore because I've already decluttered them or sold them So I'll just describe them to you. Um, the first one big shocker Gucci 2. I think if you've watched a lot of my videos you might um, Have seen this coming just because it's a nice scent But it's just not as good as I thought it would be and maybe it's just because the scent profile is not something that I gravitate gravitate towards um, so yeah, this is so described, sorry guys, can't speak today. This is described as a fruity, woody, floral, fresh perfume. I would say it's more of a floral, fresh, spicy perfume to my nose, but let me get into the notes. The notes are, uh, top of black currant, red berries, cassia, bitter orange, and mandarin orange. Middle notes, middle notes of blackberry, peony, violet, freesia, jasmine, and lily of the valley. Base notes of cedar, musk, and heliotrope. So... Um, I think people describe this as being a really black currant heavy perfume. I don't really know what black currant smells like, but like I said, it's just a fresh, floral, spicy perfume to my nose. And honestly, because it's a unicorn, I didn't want to just keep it around um, just to have. Because I know some people are looking for this scent and it's so hard to find. I don't want to just keep it if I'm not in love with it. So that's why I decluttered Gucci too. The next one that I don't have with me that I decluttered is Angel O.C. Cray, the 2015 version. This is the perfume that basically launched my channel, I guess. Um, so it doesn't really have a lot of views still. I mean, it's not like my channel is super huge or anything, but um, it is the first perfume in the first video I made on this channel. This is described as a sweet, fruity, patchouli perfume, and I would agree, but um, less so fruity, but more uh, sweet, vanilla, uh, like cakey I would say here are the notes tops of red berries and sorbet middle of meringue and caramel base notes of patchouli and vanilla so in my video I described this as kind of like a birthday cake flavored ice cream type scent with a strong patchouli you know identity and I just didn't think I needed that strong of a patchouli scent in my collection I already have flower bomb and I have a nostalgic collection connection to that one so this is by no means bad I did spray it a couple times did use it a couple times but I didn't really fall in love with it and this is another perfume that's kind of hard to come by just because it's from 2015 and I know it, um, somebody would like it more than I'd like it so I'm letting that go all right the next one might not come as a surprise at all it's aqualina pink sugar i actually made a video on this and i talk about my thoughts there it's by no means a bad scent but it's just way way too sweet for me it's very cloying to my nose and it's sickeningly sweet to me um and i know a lot of people on youtube say that their husbands or boyfriend like this a lot and mine was indifferent i mean he did comment and say that it was really really sweet like you smell really really sweet and i don't think that was a good thing but i don't um particularly have a connection to this as anything i just wanted to test it and smell it because of how popular it is and i just felt like i missed out when it was at its peak so yeah uh the notes are raspberry orange bergamot fig leaf in the middle of cotton candy, licorice, red berry, strawberry, and lily of the valley, base of caramel, vanilla, musk, taco bean, and sandalwood. Honestly, I kind of just got a ca cotton candy, kind of burnt sugar type smell. Um, it smells good if you're into that. So, And the next one I will talk about is Pacifica Tuscan Blood Orange. I actually only sprayed this once to test. I have never worn this, but uh, I don't not like the scent i just already have a rollerball in this and i know people say that pacifica perfumes like don't last long um in, in terms of shelf life just because of their more natural ingredients but i got the rollerball maybe like five or six years ago and it smells exactly the same as this spray perfume so i think i'm good with keeping my rollerball and sending this on to whoever would want it i think if you buy it in the grocery store or at target or something it's like 25 dollars or something I'm not selling it for that much. Top notes of 
big strawberry and raspberry middle notes of blood orange base notes of mandarin orange and sweet orange i'm not really sure what big strawberry is but it's basically just an orange scent i don't really get any raspberry or, or strawberry in this okay and perhaps the most shocking declutter of them all is alien essence absolute yes i am decluttering this but with a little caveat uh i think I've shown you guys in another video, I do have a decant of this, a 10ml decant of this that I bought before I wanted to splurge on a full bottle. Loved it, got the full bottle, um, and I got this as a backup. So I do have this still in my collection, I just didn't think I needed a backup, especially because I was very surprised at how slowly I'm getting through my 10ml decant. It lasts so long, I only need like two sprays. and. Um, I'm getting through it, but it's just not as fast as I thought I would, and I definitely don't need um, a backup to last me, like, however long I want it to last me, I don't know. I also just recently added the Alien Taste of Fragrance, or like Salted Butter Caramel, they're called the different things, but they're the same thing, um, into my collection, and it's very similar, um, same family as the Essence Absolute, so I didn't feel like I needed both, um, I mean I have both, but I didn't feel like I needed this as a backup. And like I said, the same thing with the Gucci 2 and the Angel Osu Cray. This is very highly sought after. Thank you guys for watching. Um, this is my first decoder video and I probably will be the only one for a while. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed hearing about the perfumes that I had in this video. And please subscribe if you want more content like this and like the video if you liked it. Alright, bye.